I'm getting sick of this. I want to see her. Sorry, that's just not possible until after the trial, not with you being a witness. Great, great. So I stick up for Mum and I don't get to see her or I don't bother and I can visit her while she rots. I'm afraid that's pretty much it. Lindsay, what you've got to remember is that by giving evidence, you are helping your Mum's case. Yeah, they should be coming home soon. Lindsay, I have to tell you, you may have to prepare yourself for the worst. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you say your mum lashed out at your dad because he was hitting her. Yeah, he was. But when your mum was examined after she was arrested, she didn't have any injuries. So? He was smart. He always hit her where it didn't show. Lindsay, there's no record of your dad's violence. Your mum never sought treatment for any injuries, never went to the police. Surely that's not unusual. No, it's not, but we're pleading provocation. We can't do that on here, sir. So what? You're saying I'm lying? I'm not, but when you're on the stand... Look, I saw him do it hundreds of times. But Emily didn't. In her statement after your father's death, she says your mum and dad were happy. She made no mention of violence. What does it matter what she thinks? It's me who's going to get caught. Well, it matters because we are arguing that your mother killed your father because she reacted in that moment to an imminent threat to her life. And the prosecution are going to do everything in their power to prove that isn't true, even if that means calling your little sister to testify. And if Emily goes in that witness box and repeats what she said in her initial statement, your mum doesn't stand a chance. So... What, what are you saying? She might not get off? Not unless there's anything, anything else you can think of that could explain what happened that day. No, nothing. Am I done? Go on. I'll catch up with you. What did Mason want? It doesn't matter. You go into the common room? Can't. I've got to see Mead. What a break? Well, he's helping me with coursework. Oh, he can help me anytime. He's fit. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be good at science. I am. So how come he's making you do extra? I don't know. He wants to get me into uni. Yeah, I'll well, just watch him. <laughs> oh, what, you think he fancies me? Well, don't he? You've got some seriously weird ideas. Mead's not like that. They're all like that. Yeah, I'm beginning to think everyone's right about you. Just as bad as your mum. Shut the door, all right? Hey! Get off that! What's going on? It's all right, I'm fine. Cooler. Now! Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Lindsay James, she's in the cooler. Well, I saw her half an hour ago. She had Vicky McDonald up against the lockers. Thanks, Tom. Can I just have a couple of words? Okay. Talk to me. Lindsay. I do understand that you're having a tough time at the moment. That does not entitle you to take your anger out on another student. I cannot have violence in this school. Do you understand? Sorry. What? What happened? Hmm? Were you upset about what the solicitor said? I'm here to help. I'm on your side. Right now, you are running out of allies in the staff room and in the playground. Anything else? Take a bit of time to get yourself together. And then I'm going to go back to class. And if in future you feel like lashing out again, I want you to remove yourself from the situation and come to see me. Okay? <laughs> 